Hi, this is Eleonora and welcome to Splits and Flexibility. In this class, we're going to work through splits using some strength-based exercises. We're going to need two blocks in order to do that, so grab your two blocks and I'll see you on the mat. So let's start in an easy pose. We're going to cross the right leg in front of the left one. If for any reasons this is not good for you, you can always use a block and sit on top of a block to have a little less uh, pressure on your knees. So we're going to try to find a long spine, relax the shoulders, big breath in, and on the exhale, empty your lungs. Keep the spine as long as you can and keep your core engaged. Simple movements, we're going to round over the legs the biggest we can without rounding the spine. So we're gonna try to keep the spine flat, long and neutral the entire time. No pain on the knees. If you feel any pain on your knees, then lift the knees from the ground and make the circle a little smaller. So let's go ahead, in up, and exhale. In up, and exhale. Nice, give me one more circle here. And back to the center, chain the crossing. So now we're gonna move to the other side. You always wanna try to keep your spine long, that's what you wanna concentrate on. And of course, keep breathing. Come back to the center, lift the arms over your head, keep the rib cage in. Don't use your arms and change the crossing of your legs. Again, adjust in a seated position that doesn't bring any pain to your knees. Bring your hands on your thigh. If you need a block underneath to sit on a block, you can do that. Lengthen the spine in out and start to move the upper body in circle when you're ready. Take your time to do that. The bigger the movement, the harder it gets. So be sure that the movement is good for you. Change the direction of the circle when you're ready. Beautiful. Last one. Nice, come back to the center. Lift the arms all the way over your head. Don't pop out the rib cage. Nice. Lean back, cross the right leg in front of the left one and make your way to your hands and knees. Take your time to do that. Be sure that when, when you get there, your palms are pressing into the floor. Round the spine. Lift the knees from the floor and move right into a down dog. Pedal your feet to get used to this shape. Big breath in and big breath out. Hold the down dog for one breath. In up. In exhale. Nice. Raise your right leg up to the sky. Keep your hips square to the floor on in out. And on the next exhale, bring your knee into your chest. Shoulders over the wrists. Place the foot in between your hands. Lower your back knee down to the ground, untuck the back toe, be sure the front knee doesn't go over your ankle, and hold it here. Bring your hands a little closer to your body, big breath in, and bring your hips a little closer to the mat on the exhale. Nice. Le curl the back toe under, lift the back knee from the floor, look right into the ground. Keep the less amount possible of weight into your hands, enough. And on the next exhale, lower your back knee down to the floor. Sit back and straight the front leg. Be sure you're not sitting back. Your, hip is in, your back hip is in line to the knee. Hands on the floor. Start to turn the front foot in and out. For three, two, and one. Come back to the center. Lengthen the spine on the inner. Your foot is flexed. The toes are spread apart. And now we're gonna bend the front knee, lift the back knee from the floor on in out. And step the back foot to meet the front one for a forward bend on the exhale. Bend your knees if you need to, unroll your spine, reach the arms over your head, big breath in, push your hips forward. All the way down to the ground, touch the mat on the exhale. Lengthen the spine, press the toes into the floor, in out. Palms on the ground, step your right foot back, followed by the left one in a down dog on the exhale. Adjust, stay here for one breath, in up, in exhale. 
Raise your left leg up without opening the hips. So feel how this movement is affecting the back of your right leg. Keep your foot flex. Now point your foot, bring your knee into your chest, shoulder over your wrist. Gently place the foot in between your hands and lower your back knee down to the floor. Untuck the back, to, um, to untuck the back foot. Push your hips forward. Lengthen the spine in up. And exhale. If you want to add any micro movement, feel free to do that. That is how this movement is affecting the front part of your thigh and your hip flexor. Now slightly around the spine, engage the core. Flex the back foot and lift the back knee from the floor. Don't put too much weight into your hands. Be sure that you're activating your legs. Lengthen the spine in up. And exhale. Last one, in up. And slowly lower your back knee down to the floor. We're going to sit back and straight the front leg. Flex the foot. Be sure that you're not sitting all the way back. You want to have your hip in line to the knee. Walk your hands a little closer to your body and start to turn the foot in and out for three, two, and one. I want you to really lift the thigh away from the knee, lengthen the spine. Don't round the spine, but bring your ribs a little closer to the front thigh. Three breaths, in. Exhale. In. Beautiful. Bend the front knee, lift the back knee from the floor. Step the back foot to meet the front one. Dive forward over your legs. Round the spine, reach up. Bring the arms over your head. Big breath in. Hands all the way down to the ground on the exhale. Lengthen the spine, step your left foot back, followed by the right one in a down dog. Stay here, one big breath in, and one big breath out. Beautiful, bend your knees, and you can step or you can jump to sit in the middle of your mat. Once you get there, I want you to keep your right, right knee bent, and the ankle close to your pelvis, and then I want you to straight the left leg out. So the more you, it doesn't matter how flexible you are, the more you open, the harder it's gonna get. So let's start 45 degree open out, and grab your blocks, and they can help a lot for this one. So you wanna have the blocks outside of your leg, and you can place your hands on the blocks. If you don't need the blocks, you can keep your palms on the floor, it's up to you. What I want you to do is to point the left foot the right knee is bent, and external rotate the leg. Your tendency will be to lean back. Try to stay forward as much as you can. The leg is engaged. Big breath in, and empty your lungs on the exhale. We're going to lift the leg and lower the leg for four times to start with. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. So try not to lean back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down, and give me the last one, and hold it here for five, four, three, two, lower down. Now in turn, I rotate the leg, flex the foot, reach the arm all the way up to the sky. You can slightly bend the knees if you need to, and lean forward. If you can grab your foot, go ahead and grab your foot. If not, you can grab the outside of your leg, no problem, you can keep your knees slightly bent. Stay here, in now. When you pull your body over your legs, keep your chest open. And think about lifting the thigh away from the knee. Last one, in now. And exhale. Beautiful, come back to the center. And let's switch legs. So now we're gonna bend the left knee and open the right leg all the way out. Find a comfortable set. Beautiful, use your blocks if you need to. You can always avoid to use them if you want to. Blocks are on the floor, point your foot. Now, foot is pointed, everything starts from your core. You want to external rotate the thigh. The more you open your legs, the harder this is going to get. So for this, let's start a 45 degree open. Try not to go deeper than that. Leg is external rotate, hands are forward, on the block or on the floor as you prefer. Ina, empty your lungs on the exhale. We're gonna go four times. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Last one. Inhale, lift up. 
Exhale, lower down. We're going to lift and hold it up for five, four, three, two. Lower down. Internal rotate the leg. Flex the foot. Lengthen the spine. Reach the arms all the way up over your head. And then lean forward. Again, you can grab the outside of your foot. You can grab the outside of your calf. Keep that foot flexed. Lengthen up the spine on the inhale. Pull your body over on the exhale. Lengthen up on the inhale. Pull on the exhale. Really try to keep that chest open, rib cage close to your thigh. Beautiful. Back to the center, reach the arm over your head. Hands down. And just for a moment, bring your blocks to the side and bring your feet together to touch. The closest you bring your ankle to your body, the harder it's going to get for your knees. So adjust accordingly to that. The only thing that I want you to do is to press the feet against each other and really, really press them. So don't let the knee fall out. It doesn't matter how flexible you are. Just press those feet against each other and try to find a very flat back, hands into your heart. Big breath in, press those feet against each other. Beautiful, last one, in now. And exhale, nice. Grab the outside of your knees, bring your knees together to touch. This time we're gonna open up the legs. So, let's start with the feet flex again. The more you open right now, the harder this is gonna get. So, try to find an opening that you can, that is not too much. Now, I want you to bring your hands in front of your point and flex your feet for four, three, two, and one. Now, keep your feet flexed and just to shift the weight forward, get into the inside of your thigh, and then move back. So everything is moving in one. In, out, forward. Keep your feet flexed. And exhale back. Another couple of times, in, out. And exhale. Last one, in, out. And exhale. Nice. Now we're going to keep the leg like this. If it gets too hard, do exactly what we did before one more time. If you can do this, let's do it like this. So we're going to point the feet, both the legs are open. Remember, the more you open, the harder it's going to get. We're going to start by turning to the right. We're going to external rotate the legs. So keep that external rotation. Turn your body to the right. Keep your feet pointed. We're going to lift the leg four times and hold it at the end. So in up. Exhale, empty your lungs. Go ahead, in a lift. Exhale, lower. Lift, lower down. Lift, lower down. Last one, lift, lower down. Now we're gonna lift and we're gonna hold it there. Count five, four, three, two, and down. Right away, we're gonna flex the feet for the transition. Move to the other side. Point both your feet. Be sure you external rotate the thigh. Engage the core. E now. Empty your lungs on the exhale. Go ahead four times on the left leg. E now lift. Exhale lower. E now. Exhale. E now. Exhale. One more time. E now. And exhale. We're going to inhale and hold. We're going to stay here for five, four, three, two, lower down, flex your feet, come back to the center, move the blocks out of the way, see if you can open a little more, see how that goes, keep your feet flex, keep the spine neutral, very long, we never want to round here, we're going to keep it long, we're going to tilt forward and back, it really doesn't matter how deep we go, ankles, knees and upper body moves in one line, Beautiful, last one. And back to the center. Point your feet. Again, you can repeat exactly what we did. You can step back and bend one of the knees. We're gonna turn to the right, use the blocks one more time. If you wanna open your legs a little more, you can. If you wanna keep them a little more close, you can. Easier if they're closer, a little harder if you open them more. This time, we're gonna lift the right leg up, circle back four times, Circle forward four times. So let's go ahead, inhale. Empty your lungs on the exhale. Inhale, rise your right leg from the floor. Go ahead, four, three, two, one. And change direction, four, three, two, one. Lower the heel to the ground, flex your feet. 
move to the center with your blocks and switch to the other side. Point your feet, external rotate the thigh, in up. Empty your lungs on the exhale. Beautiful, raise your left leg up to the sky for round back, four circle, three, two, one, change direction, four, three, two, one. Lower down, flex your feet, move the blocks out of the way. Grab the back of your knees, bend the knees and bring the sole of the feet together. The closest you bring your ankles to the pelvis, the harder it's gonna get on your joint, so be aware of that. All I want you to do is to press the feet against each other, bring your hands into your heart, keep pressing those feet against each other. Spine is neutral, you're leaning back. One big breath in, one big breath out. Lift the arms up and above your head. And bring your hands all the way outside of your knees. Bring your knees together. Straight the legs in front of you. Point and flex your feet. And let's go ahead and open the legs one more time. So this time, you can kind of open a little more. We're not lifting the legs anymore. I want you to keep your feet flexed. And I want you to bring your hands in front of you. Now your feet are flexed. Your toes are spread. Your spine is long. The core is engaged. Hands are in front of you. Shift the weight forward and back. Keep pressing the heels against the mat. Keep lengthening the spine. We're gonna roll forward and back a few times. If the movement is very little and you're just here, that's great. If you have a little more range of motion, go ahead and use that range of motion. You almost wanna turn the body into your inner thigh. So we're gonna do that slowly. So first start small, inhale and exhale. And if you feel good here, let's move forward a little more. Try not to use the arms, not to push the weight into the arms. You really want to engage the legs where you're doing this. See how it goes. And if you can lean forward a little more, go ahead and do it. Remember, your ankles and your knees are moving in one line. And give yourself another couple of breaths. Keep those feet flexed. Beautiful. Now, find where this pose is challenging you. You want to lean forward with a flat back. You might be here. You might be a little deeper in. You might have your forearms on the floor. Maybe you can have blocks underneath your forearms if you prefer. Some of us can actually really move in the inner thigh with the feet flex. And if that is in your range of motion, you can absolutely walk, walk into that taking all the time you need. So find where you want to be and stay into that pose for a few breaths. Once you're there, wherever you are, you can point your feet. Keep your legs engaged. Keep the spine long. Keep breathing. Keep pressing the legs into the ground and lifting the thigh away from the knee. Give me three breaths wherever you are. In up. Exhale. In up. Exhale. Last one, in up. And exhale. Slowly start to move back to the center. Take all the time you need. Keep your feet pointed. Add any micro movement you need to add. Find a seated position, bring your hands behind your knees, and use your hands to slowly bring your legs back together and bend your knees. Feet open as wide as your hips, and just um, shake your legs for a moment. Big breath in, and big breath out. From here, I want you to cross the right leg in front of the left one, and just shift the weight back into your hands and knees. Beautiful. Palms are going underneath your shoulders. On inhale, open up your chest. And on the exhale, curl your toes under around the spine. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Lift the knees from the floor, find a down dog. Beautiful, be sure that you feel your hands connected to the mat, be sure you're breathing, inhale. And exhale. Raise your right leg up to the sky. Open up your hips for this one. Bend the knee, but keep looking in between your hands. 
Straight the leg all the way up. Bring the knee into the chest and place the foot in between your hand. Lower your back knee down to the floor. Beautiful. Move your body forward and back a couple of times without allowing the knee to move over your ankle. Nice. Now, we're going to slowly proceed to try to find our split. It doesn't matter how deep we are. What I want you to concentrate is the back leg. I don't care if the, leg, the front leg is not straight. I really want to see the back thigh moving as close as possible to the mat. In order to do that, two blocks can help a lot in this transition. Before we go there, lift the back knee from the floor and hold it here. Front knee on top of the ankle, open heart. In up. And exhale. In up. Beautiful. Last one. Now lower the back knee down to the floor. So start with walking the front foot a little further away from you. And notice what happens to the back leg when you do that. Now, untack the back toe, and think about bringing the back thigh as close as you can to the floor, keeping your hips square to the ground. So, walk there and see how that goes. It really doesn't matter what you do with the front leg. Concentrate on the back leg. Look back and be sure that your ankle is aligned to the knee and the knee is aligned to the hip. And if this is enough, stay here. If you want, you can place a block right underneath your hip. And this will help you to keep those hips square where they're supposed to be and your spine long. There's a back bend involved, involved here. So if you feel a lot of lower back, you can, also, you can always lean forward a little bit. So you can stay here and that's great. If you feel that the back thigh is good and grounded, you can start to walk on stretching the front leg. Again, back thigh is facing down, your hips are square. You can point your foot, you can flex your feet. You can have a block and stay on a block, or you can choose to remove the block and work without the block. So whatever you choose, be sure that the back thigh is looking down to the floor, and be sure that your body remains really engaged. It doesn't matter how deep you go, be sure you're breathing. Explore, be curious about how your body is reacting to this pose with or without your blocks. In up. And exhale. In up. Beautiful. Last one, wherever you are. And as low as we went into the pose, we're going to move out of the pose. Notice how your body reacts if the mat comes is messing up it's normal don't worry about that bend the back knee beautiful back knee in line to the back hip front knee in line to the front hip lift the arm over your head curl the back toe under one big breath in hands down to the floor lift the back knee from the ground find a down dog and stay here and pedal your feet see how the back of the right leg is doing be sure your palms are pressing into the ground in a and a little deeper on the exhale. Raise your left leg up, point your foot, open up the hips, but keep looking in between your hands. Bend the knee and stuck your hip. Beautiful, straight the leg, bring your knee into your chest and place the foot in between your hand. Slowly start to lower the back knee into the floor. So that gives us the time to align the front knee with the ankle. Nice, add any micro movement you need to. Remember, we can always use the blocks. First, we're gonna engage and lift the back knee from the floor. Front knee is aligned to the ankle, hold it here. And really feel the engagement. Think about scissoring your thigh in, think about keeping your spine really long. Big breath in. And big breath out. And let's start to work on this split. Remember, we really don't care how deep you go into the split. Be intuitive and more than anything, listen to your body. One side is always better than the other, so don't judge if this is your bad side and don't be too excited if this is your good side. Work on connecting and feeling. So we're gonna start to bend the front knee and walk the front foot a little further away from the body. Our idea is to bring the back thigh all the way down to the mat eventually. So see how this goes. And if you want, you can place a block underneath your hip. 
it helps a lot to give the body the time to get used to the pose. So your back thigh is gonna keep wanting to external rotate, which we don't want that to happen. We wanna keep it in. We're gonna give the body, to, we're gonna give the, body the time to really feel the pose. Check the back leg, be sure that your ankle is aligned to the knee, and just be in the pose. Concentrate through your breath. Every exhale gives you the opportunity to feel a little more and to ground a little more. The more grounded you feel, the more stable you feel, the more you can start to work with the front leg and see if you want to try to straight that front leg. It can happen or it cannot happen. It doesn't matter. Whatever happening, keep internal rotating the back leg and flex the front foot to begin with. So really give yourself the time to feel. Stay into the pose. Don't skip steps. Also, if you feel you're very flexible using the block, can always help. The more grounded you feel, the more you activate, the safer it is to move into the pose. Once you're here, if you want, you can completely remove your blocks and work on the pose without the blocks. Take your time if you want to do that. And again, please don't judge if by any chance this is not your best side. Once you get into your final pose, you can point your feet. Notice that there is a little back bend, so be aware of that. And breathe. In out. And exhale. In out. And exhale. Last one. In out. And exhale. Nice. Slowly we're going to move out of the pose, so take all the time you need. Most of the times the mat gets a little messed up, and that's okay. Walk the back knee closer to the front one. Adjust your mat if you need to. Big breath in. And big breath out. Stay here for a moment. Feel how the body reacts to moving out of the pose. Place the palms into the floor. Lift the back knee from the ground. Step the front foot back in a down dog. And pedal your feet. Take a moment here to really feel. Add any movement you need to. Big breath in. And big breath out. Nice, lower your knees down to the floor. Open the knees wide and find a white leg child pose. So push your hips back, bring your forearms on the ground to begin with. Adjust, feel that opening. And then lift the elbows from the floor and try to bring your forehead on the ground with the elbows lifted from the floor. If your hips are high here, that's fine as well. Stay in this pose for three breaths. In, up. Exhale. In, up. Last one. Nice. Bring your hands close to the body. Shift the weight forward. Bring your feet to the side. And just come to sit straightening the legs in front of you. Find a good seated position. Bend your right knee. We're going to allow the right knee to move to the side, and we're going to allow the hips to open to the side as well. If for any reason this knee bothers you, you can always place a block underneath the knee. Start by flexing the left foot. Your shoulders are facing the side. On the next knee now, reach both the arms up to the sky. The next exhale, bring your left arm all the way outside of the right leg, and look to the right. Reach up high, in up. Only in all the way to the side on the exhale. I really don't care how deep you go. You can be here. Or you can proceed deeper. And some of us can go really deep. Maybe grab that foot and open up the chest. Keep the foot flexed. Keep opening up your heart. Feel the stretch in the side of the body for three. Two. And one. Slowly use your core, use the side of the body to come back to the center. Hand on the floor. Turn to the front of the mat and straight your leg. We're going to go on the other side. So make sure that you bend the opposite leg. Nice, point your foot. You're going to allow the knee to move out. So the left knee is bent, the leg is out. Flex the right foot, straight the leg. Be sure that your hips are open and your shoulders are facing the side. 
nice and uh, reach your right arm up to the sky and bring your right hand outside of the left thigh. Open up and look to the left. Try not to lift your hips. Keep your hips on the ground. Keep your foot flexing out. And exhale. Last one, in out. And exhale. Nice, back to the center. Lift the arm up, the left arm is up. And now we're gonna start to move to the side. We can be here, facing up, that's more than enough. We can be a little deeper, some of us can go even deeper and maybe get to grab that foot is not necessary. If you do that, you can do it. If not, that's fine anyway. Look up to the sky, keep your legs engaged, in up. Exhale. In up. Beautiful, last one. And slowly come back to the center. Reach the arm up over your head and come back to the front of the mat. Put your legs are in front of you, but this time bend your knees. Nice. Shake your legs. One more time, lift the arms up. And you can have your knees bent, you can have your legs straight. One big breath in, forward bend on the exhale. You can grab the outside of your calf, you can grab the outside of your feet, lengthen on the inhale, and pull on the exhale. In out, and exhale. Last one, in out, and exhale. Come back to the center, find a comfortable seated position, whatever that means for you. If you're crossing your legs this time, cross the left leg in front of the right one. Bring your hands into your heart. Listen to your body, give me a big breath in and empty your lungs on the exhale. And open your eyes. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day and namaste.